Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today I'm making another uh, game maker tutorial. It's been a while, um, so just a few things I want to go over. Um, I haven't been making a video, making videos uh, for Game Maker for a while because I haven't been working on a game. I now am, and just discovered some stuff to make a video about. So, first off, so I was just hearing stuff in the background of my house, and I was just like, "What's going on?" Uh, first off, all of the sprites that I'm using are from like a website that gate that has free sprites that you that aren't copyrighted. You can make money off of them. You can make a game off of them. So the link to that will be in the description. Um, so mine are from Kenny. Kenny made them. I don't know who Kenny is, but he's an awesome sprite creator. So yeah. Um, second, um, I'm going to be showing you basically how to put in health bars but there's already some code and stuff created so just if I have if I don't mention it then you can ignore it okay okay cuz like none of this matters to you you only are here for health bars if you want to know about any of the other code here it's in on uh, my platform making tutorial video all of the code there basically all of the code there is from the platform making tutorial so basically I'm going to show you how to make three different health bars um I'm only using one the last one. So first I'm going to be showing you how to make a health bar that's just in the upper corner of your screen that should move from room to room. Um, the second one is going to be one that hovers above your head, although it's probably going to hover in my head, but I, I, I don't know. I'm probably not going to take the time to fix it to a hover above my head. And the last one is going to be, well the first two are going to be made with um, the game maker just drag and drop different things, like their pre-made stuff. The last one's going to be made with code and it's using your own custom designed health bar that's not just game maker's health bar because game maker's health bar is ugly as fuck all right so first what we're going to do is we're going to create an object uh, i'm just going to do this with you object and i'm going to call it health bar because i have my object health here for my game and it, no sprite obviously and what we're going to do is we're going to add event we're going to add the event draw just a normal draw and then we're going to go into score and we're going to pull over this maybe yes this um, for our x1 we're going to type in view underscore x view then brackets with a nort in the middle space plus space 32 I hit enter like a noob and your y1 you're going to put view underscore y view um, brackets nort space plus space 32 I'm going to have it the same and the next one we're gonna put um, view underscore x view again um, brackets nort then space plus space uh, let's put 150 this is gonna size it and in our y2 we're gonna be doing view slash or view underscore y view I w brackets nort um, space plus space let's do 48 sounds about right um, we want our back color to be black probably and it'll go to green to red you don't want to click relevant okay so there's our health bar and we click OK I'm gonna drag that into our room real quick Just sort of put it up in the corner awesome um, so next we're gonna need to add a way to gain health so under our player under our create event we're going to go into score and we're going to pick set health. We're going to set health at 100. He gets full health when he starts. Full health when he starts. We click OK. And we're going to add event collision with our enemy which is our spikes. Um, in your spikes object you don't need any code. You don't need anything. So, so we're going to add collision with our spikes and we're going to set to negative 5 relevant. So you need to make sure relevant is clicked. And we're going to hit OK. And then under our step event, what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that when our health sits, hits zero, we return to our first position and restart. So what we're going to do is we're going to, let me think for a second, we're going to add this, um, test health. If the value of one, if it is smaller than, if health is smaller than one, so if health is smaller than one, and then we need our blocks, where are these? our start block and our end block and we also need let's look for it because I don't know where it is because yeah uh, we're gonna 
make it so that our self jumps to start. And uh, where's our little restart game? Game, restart. So that basically makes it so that when our health hits zero, we go back to the beginning and the game restarts. All right, so my game's gonna take a minute to load up because it's got a lot of raw code and stuff and a lot of raw code and stuff. That should put like a little health bar at the top uh, left-hand corner of our screen. The health bar that works. The next one's gonna be above my head, but I think because I have an astronaut helmet on, it's gonna go in my head, but whatever. See, so we take a lot of damage, so that could probably be lowered to minus one. And when we die, we just restart with a full health bar. Oh, nope, death. Death, death, death. So that's how that one works. Okay, so now to put a health bar above our player's head. I'm gonna go through and, nope, nope, nope. I just clicked a lot of stuff at once. Let's click okay. Um, we are going to keep our health to 100. We are going to keep our step event. That all is needed for this. So you need to have the step event, you need to have our health to 100, you need to have object spike relative to five. What we don't need is in our health bar, we're just gonna change this. So we're just gonna delete this because we don't need it. Again, you want an object a health bar with a blank sprite with no sprite in it. We're gonna add the event step. So we're gonna add step. And then we want to drag in our jump to position. Our position, our X is going to be our player's name. So OBJ underscore player dot X. So you need dot X and dot Y. So it's your player name and then dot X. And this would be your player name, which ours is OBJ player dot Y. So your Y name and that's okay. And we need to add the event uh, draw, draw. And we're going to add in our score health bar, draw health bar, that's set. It's totally not the right one. It's gonna drag in draw health. And um, yeah, for our X1, let's do negative 40. For our Y1, let's do negative 30. Our X2, your X2 needs to be positive and your X1 needs to be negative so that you subtract health the right way and they need to be the same. And our Y2 is negative 40 because our Y2 needs to be greater than our, needs to be, our Y2 needs to be less than our Y1. And we want to tick relative. We're going to put the background color to black. These numbers probably need to be higher. I feel like they need to be higher so that it'll stay above my head. So, meh. This isn't going to be my final health bar in the slightest. So, because again, I think the Game Maker health bars are pretty ugly. Come on, little game. You can do it. Sorry if I'm going through this fast. I just, yeah, it's stuck in my head. Well, you can tinker with the numbers. You can make it above your head. It follows you. It stays with you. It takes damage like a health bar. It changes color like a health bar. And it's, you know, a good health bar to be on enemies. As you kill them, their health bar slowly dissipates. So, now it's time to do the health bar that I'm actually going to have for the game, which we don't need any of this for. You don't need a blank object. You don't need um, your player. So this we're going to delete. We don't need any of this stuff in our step because it's just not needed. We're going to do this all by code. So that and we're going to just delete this right here. Just delete it. Yes. Okay, I believe that's everything. We have nothing in that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is first you're gonna create a sprite with however you want your health bar to be. Now I'm just gonna show you my sprite. Your image zero, you want an empty health bar and then however much it takes to get a full health bar. So this is half a health bar, this is a full health bar. So lowest to lowest health all the way up. It's gonna flash like that, all right. So once you got that, turn it into an object. Undo your object health, we're gonna add event create and we're going to do a lot of coding. So don't be afraid, it's easy, don't worry. So for the code here, we're basically just defining a global var variable. We're gonna make global, wow, if I could spell, G-L-O-B-A-L, -L, global.hp is equal to two. And we're gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna click add event. We're gonna click draw, and just a normal draw again, and drag in some code. 
and for our code here, this is a bit of code, we're going to put draw underscore sprite and then parenthesis and then the name of your stri sprite, ours is object health, so obj health and then we're going to do comma global dot hp hp comma view underscore x view uh, plus 10 comma view underscore y view plus uh, 5 and we're going to close our brackets and that's done alright we're then going to go for our object player and we're going to go under our code we're going to go under the create event so alright so I have create event and then I have our code. Ignore all of this, but we need to put hurt. I'm going to line everything up. It needs to be equal to hurt needs to be equal to zero. Sorry for all the noise in the background. My cousins are over. And then need to add an event alarm zero. And again, add some code to it. Because, you know, code is awesome. And then just in our alarm, we're just doing the same thing. Hurt equals zero. Um, in our step event, we're going to be adding a bit of code. So again, ignore all this code up here. This code just does other stuff. So, what is this? We're going to, if hurt is equal towards one, bracket image underscore alpha equals 0.5 semicolon close brackets else open brackets image underscore alpha is equal to 1 semicolon close brackets if global dot hp is less than 1 then game game underscore restart parentheses and that should be it. That should be all we need there. Did that save? I'm not sure if I hit OK. I'm just going to make sure it's there. Okay, so there's our health bar stuff. Awesome. We're also going to add back our event, our collision with our spikes event, and we're going to put in some code. Um, so we're going to put if parentheses hurt equals zero bracket global dot hp minus equals one hurt equals one alarm brackets zero equals 30 I'm gonna close that so then we're invincible for about 30 seconds so if we get hurt we're invincible for a few seconds we don't just keep dying and that should be all we need in our level one we need to add our object health so I'm just going to add that up in the corner. That should be okay. And this should work. I'm hoping this works. I haven't tested this health bar yet because I was going to test it with you guys. So it should work. Um, and this is how to put your own health bar in so that you don't have to use their crappy health bar. So up in the corner, we have a heart. And then we lose. So now we have half heart. Now we have no heart. We restarted. And I started moving once we restarted. So yeah, and see we're invincible for a few seconds so we can get away from here and we sort of became darker as we took health. So yeah, there you go. There's your health bars. I really like that health bar and you can put it anywhere on your screen. So yeah, there we go. Um, as always, uh, thanks for watching. If you have something you want to learn about, I know an RPG game is what someone said. Um, that's a lot to research, but here's just something that I was doing, so I figured I'd make a video about it. As always, uh, thanks for watching. I will try to get more Game Maker videos out, but coding is a lot of work and stuff, as a lot of you know. <laughs> but as always, thanks for watching. Please like this video if you found it in any way, shape, or form helpful. If you need some help, um, leave a comment. I'll try my best. Really, I need to see your code, though, because I'm a visual person, so screenshots or adding me on Skype would be perfect. Um... Yeah, but I do like comments a lot. So, yeah, I think that's about it. Follow me on Twitter. I tweet stuff occasionally. Other than that, thanks for watching as always, guys. Bye!